some more fat guys over here, some linemen. This is the ceiling right here, Rob Sell. See, they th throwing jocks at me, dirty jocks. That's the locker room. The, the, the bathroom's over here, but I figure y'all know what's going on in there, so we're not going to even go in there. So tonight, the Big Orange Nation awaits a breakout game from their offense. Fans, coaches, and teammates have just about lost patience with Casey Clawson who's totaled is uh, stuck at one touchdown pass. That was the first play of the season. And with Travis Stevens, who's had a little case of the fumbleitis. The Vols won't need many points if John Henderson and that defense plays like they say they're going to play. Rohan Davey and LSU torched him last year. For the Tigers, this is really a true test of body and mind. Are they physically stout enough to stand up to Tennessee? Are they mentally tough enough to leave Rocky Top with a breakthrough victory for this program. Here's the untold tale of the Tigers' preparation, courtesy of a rare backstage pass in Baton Rouge. I'm going to tell you to do. Oh. You see one, two, yeah. three, four? Maybe five. Don't do too many lines. Scouting, <laughs> keep an eye on us. Best place to chill out before practice. I guess I'm not number six, huh? That's why you don't want to talk to me. It's going to be a challenge to our team to see if we can go on the road and have the dominant attitude that it's necessary to beat uh, what is an outstanding football team on the road in their house. We're heading into big orange country. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got them pretty checkerboard end zones, Toe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, guys. We've got to get it right now. Let's go. Do you know what hold up means? Hey, hold it, hold it. Hustle back. Let's go. And what did I say in the meeting? You've got a radar to the first inside guy, right? All right, let's go. Blow the horn. Look, guys. Time off time off. Time to come back and go to work. It's time to come back and go to work. You need to make some decisions about what you want to do. But we're not getting out of practice what we need to get out of practice. You know, Roe does an outstanding job of, you know, creating leadership. And, you know, he was supposed to be here today. He, had some personal things to do at home, so he went home for the day off. But obviously, we miss him out here, his leadership, and as far as, you know, directing the offense and everything, and just his ability. But um, I think we'll be a, a much better practice team tomorrow. Come out here with a bad attitude. Tigers on three, one, two, three, Tigers! It wasn't really um, anything that wasn't expected. I mean, I was planning on going home, and that's what I did, and that just surfaced. And then I got caught in the airport, you know, coming back, so. Not a big deal. Damn, I ain't know it was a nine and a half point underdog. <laughs> Jesus. I need my long sleeves, dog. You gotta bring old socks to get new ones. Dog, no, y'all, y'all can't, y'all can't. Oh, mother goose. Y'all can't uh, let them know what we're like practice. <laughs> No, yesterday we had some young guys playing quarterback, and that's what you expect. I mean, you got different leaders in. I mean, the tempo of practice is not going to be the same. But we got our senior caller back, so I pretty much see practice going real well today. Tiger Jack, get ready! ready. Exercise. G, I, G, E, R, A, N, G. Boom. All right. Ah. That a boy real good. Need his back. Boom. Get him in a minute. Take it right over his head. Nice ball. That a boy. But that's how you do it by how we practice today on both sides of the ball. And that was a great job. It was a good finish. Just to be out here and get back on the grind after missing yesterday. That's a good feeling. Had a couple mental mistakes, but nothing we can't correct the next three days. But having them out here made a big difference on both sides of the ball. You know, um, things were a little more organized. The uh, tempo was higher, so um, I think it was very good for the team to have them back. I'm Josh Reed, wide receiver from the LSU Tigers, and I'm going to give you a tour of the locker room. These are the younger guys over here, as you can see. They lying in there. Just look at them. That's the new boy we got this week. Simon, she's just solidly full back tight end, whatever you want him to play. Everybody knows the Buckers brother, Trail, Trail Falk. Some old fat guys over here, some linemen. This is the center right here, Rob Sell. See, they th throwing jocks at me, dirty jocks. That's the locker room. The, the, the bathroom's over here, but I figure y'all know what's going on in there, so we're not going to even go in there. And as you can tell by the folks here at Serrano's about the uh... Big game up in Knoxville versus Tennessee on Saturday night, 645 So I'm really anxious myself to, to go play and just see how we do and see how the players respond to the situation that they're in right now. This is a great opportunity for us, man, to put ourselves on the national level, you know, up there with all the big boys, quote-unquote big boys. We're going to get it done, though.
It's important that we work hard today. Two more days before the game. And we got to have a super workout right here. And it starts today. Be intense. Good job, Good job, bro. Nice job. They got me up on their bulletin board up there. You know what you're saying up there? Well, basically what they're saying is that I ain't shit, And I don't think, we don't think that he's good enough to beat us. Time to kind of get pissed off, guys, and get the belligerent attitude that we need to go on the road and play well and overcome the adversity that's going to go with playing a game like this. I can't win the game. That's what they're saying, right? TV, but, you know, once we kick it off Saturday, we'll be all right. Game time, man. This is a weekly thing right here. I'm hooking my boy Tua up here with a light taper or a fresh line, you know, trim him up nice and neat. You see half the team down there in here. Top rush in the SEC. He Star says crunch. second to top to me. We're not going to cut our hair till we lose. <clears throat> so hopefully, come January, we'll just be walking around here with big fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always the big orange, baby. Game time, fellas. Ready to roll, Coach? Yeah. All right. Here we go. We're going to be going to uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, in the Time to get it on now. I mean, everybody be pretty much hungry when we get off the plane, so we'll be ready to eat. But after we get out of here, we go to our room. I mean, this is the time we focus for the game. The last 30 minutes or so, me and M just been in here talking, you know, relaxing, watching TV, getting our final preparation done, you know, going through our tests. Bed check. What's up, fellas? What's up, Cole? Know the drill? Yeah. 10 o'clock, wake up, 10.30, brunch. Got you. Right. See so you in the morning. Trying to go to sleep. Get ready for them balls. Turn out the lights, but the party just beginning. We thank Nick Saban for the inside access down at LSU. You could tell very clearly from that piece, Tony, the importance of Rohan Davey to this team. It wasn't that impressive against Utah State in his last ball game, but we know he thinks of himself as a big game quarterback, and this is a big game down there. Oh, absolutely, Chris. You know, Rohan Davey told me this week when I talked to him, he said, you know, more than anything, this team wants to earn respect. The way you do that is you win big games, and we got a chance to do it against Tennessee and against Florida next week. Well, Kirk, I tell you what, I love Rohan Davey, and I love his leadership, but I love that Tennessee defensive line and John Henderson a whole lot more. I have got to go <laughs> with the balls. Yeah, Tony, it's going to be an exciting game. I, I already looked at this game. It's arguably the best game of the day. After watching that piece, picture the players of both teams sitting in their hotels right now watching that piece, how, how much more the emotions are going to go up in this game. Rohan Davey, obviously the leader. He's going to need help today because Tennessee's defense is too good. They've got to be able to run the football today with LeBrandon Tofield. He's one of the better backs in the SEC, averaging 5.7 yards a carry. He already has seven, yard, seven touchdowns, rather, on this season, great quickness, great awareness, good vision when he gets out of the open field. He led the Tigers last year in rushing. This is a big game, and this is an opportunity for LSU, as Rohan Davey mentioned, to get on the map, not only in the conference, but around the entire country. I think they're going to go on the road into Tennessee, use that balance offense, and they've got to weather the storm of the emotions early in Knoxville. I think they win the game and upset Tennessee wow. and get on that map that Rohan Davies looking to get on. I think it's a big win for LSU. Really? Yes, sir. Rocky Top. Rocky oh, no. Top. We've been over this. Rocky Top, Tennessee. I was thinking LSU was going to lose. Win that game. Yeah. But if I was a Tennessee football player and I'm sitting in that room and I'm saying they gave all that publicity to LSU, 
I'm going with Tennessee now. They're Just because of that. They're fired hey, up. They're fired up. Tennessee beat Dominique Oakbrook. Stevenson, after seeing that piece. I'll tell you. Oh, be so oh it no. Going. We'd love to go behind the scenes with Tennessee. Coach, we would. Anybody. Have you watched Anybody. We love that's that's good stuff. Yeah, Please crazy. don't ever sing. You're, you're, <laughs> you're so it's old. Off, off, You've had off, a lot of years to learn the words of Rocky Tap. You ought to know them by now. You got Tennessee? Yes, sir. ESPN primetime game, 745, following the scoreboard show. Part of that will take place right down here. Snyder and Stoops, two guys at the top of their profession. That's why their teams are near the top of the pole. We'll talk this game. We'll talk Pac-10 coming up also.